took off cough. I need to stop smoking. I need to do something. But anyway, um, yeah, where were we? Oh, wasting an awful time this morning and yesterday. I tried something that I've not really got the patience for now. <laughs> this is <laughs> like, you know. Yeah, I won't go through it all, but and needless to say, I wasted quite a few hours on it and uh, didn't really get anywhere. But it's too embarrassing to speak about and I'm not going to talk about that. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, to get back to this one, I decided to go, I don't remember, but in one of the videos I did, a thumbstick for the grandson. And uh, this is the only Perry Seeker antlers I've got. And one of the points is broken on it, but I'm going to use them. Chat wants an antler of some kind or other on them. So this is what we're going to have to go for. But the cabbage thing I had thought about, and <laughs> it's just not going to work at all. It's not going to give me what I need. I need a comparison. I need two marine dancers. Sika is not really, you know, it's not really homegrown. Uh, but they're tidy little things and uh, they're very good. Uh, the Japanese, big fans. I think they were messengers from the, the Shinto gods. But yeah, I think. That's the plan, to put them in there. I've cut them off the, the skull and uh, dowel them up, make them dowels. I need to create an, an, a, a different plane on this. This one's just let you see it now. Um, but I will reshape this plane and bring them. And it will, this hand will be, it'll just be a hand like that really at the end of the day. It'll work fine once I titivate it all up and get the bits and pieces in it. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's, it's another great morning. It wasn't so good this morning when I started away. But uh, it's better now. Uh, it all, all, all reigns well in the McNorman household right now. We've got our new suite. And uh, man, it's comfortable this one, but uh, it's very light. It's the exact opposite to the one we had. It won't certainly take my two older grandsons in the old suite, not the one we got there, but previously. They would launch themselves into it. And they're big lads. They're like six feet nowadays. And, just launch it onto it and they won't be able to launch yourself onto this. Launch yourself onto this, they'll break through it. Which was great actually because the wife decided that we'd get a new carpet at the same time. The carpet was needing, I wasn't really needing, but yes, she decided to get a new carpet, new suite. I think so. It worked out really well actually. It's, the whole thing works out now. You can actually sit in this suite and it's comfortable. Um, yeah, it's good. It's, it's, it's alright. Uh, you don't get off it with a sore back and backside, um, but there is no weight to it, which was great because uh, the way it worked, so it was, it was really good. So I think all things are, all things given, it's all right now, uh, the wife's certainly calmed down a bit, uh, <laughs> it doesn't do the blood pressure any good, she's bothered with it too, like, you know. Um, but uh, I'll give her a due, she's stuck in there and uh, we've now got something that you... And it's good looking, sweet, it's... And it's got possibilities that... Uh, the foam... But they, they give you all this gumph with it, like it's got to have a lived in look, so there's only high density foam, certain amount of high density foam in the cushion part of it, and then it's a, a loose infill that goes on top of it. And uh, the idea is seemingly is to get that lived in look. <laughs> I don't really know, I mean, uh, I, I suppose it'll work fine, uh, but uh, it's very comfortable and we can sit there at night and 
not get sore, and that's that's a plus, right? But uh, I was away the other day there at uh, looking at something really interesting actually. It was a a crab apple orchard that has been planted in the, the garden of uh, Dunmore Estate, the big house garden, or what used to be the big house garden. And it is a big house garden, it's about six, six acres. Uh, no longer uh, in the family, it belongs to the National Trust now. But it's the other side of uh, Earth heading away for a uh, way still in direction, so. But uh, I was talking to a couple that are busy trying to figure out the different trees that have been planted in. It was planted in 1977 and it was, I think it was the last, that was the last kind of year of the family was still in there. The Earls of Dunmore. Um, Connections with the Hamiltons and, and other ones like in there, but uh, it's like all these big estates are much the same. They're, they're all part of the Victorian thing, and uh, plant hunters and tree hunters and travelled the world and uh, brought back all the sent back all the specimens and uh, various other things, and they all tend to look much the same. But this one's different in the fact that in the big house garden. It's got a pineapple, a big stone pineapple. You maybe heard about it. It's it's well known in terms of the biggest, it's reckoned to be the biggest folly in uh, Scotland. Extremely well built, beautiful bit of work, um, well planned out thing. With it and, uh, but you know that in below there was the boiler house for it. It's at the, it's at the back of the, the south facing wall. The big wall that held all the greenhouses and hot houses, and and they did, and it's the shape of a pineapple, and they did try and grow pineapples in there. How successful? I'm not really sure. I wouldn't imagine they would grow many. But uh, but on the top of the wall, you you wouldn't know when you look at it that this is what was on below. It was the boiler house that kept the back wall, kept the wall of the back wall of the green, the green, big greenhouses warm at night and uh, during the winter and uh, so they could grow stuff that you wouldn't normally grow this north, this far north. Uh, but the chimneys, and I didn't realise that, I was looking at them and saying, chimneys on this, but the, it was a chap that explained it to me, he says, these Grecian urns on the, the top of the wall, garden wall, there's four big Grecian urns sitting, and uh, these were the chimneys. And uh, amazing. When you think of the sheer amount of money that these people had back then that they could do, um, you know, build all this. Um, and so it was interesting, with the, the, as I say, with the chap with the crab apple trees. Uh, they were going to have great difficulty. I would have thought there would have been a record somewhere of the... the I didn't realise you could get that many different types of crab apple trees. And, uh, but they were, they were trying to identify them. Uh, and I don't know how they were doing it. There were books and books and books. And uh, they were doing comparisons and lots of different things. Of course, they're all in blossom now, so... <coughs> really, you know, it's a lovely show. Uh, but no. But see, there were a lot of people, dog walkers again, as we usually find, is mainly dog walkers in these places. And uh, so while I was there, I had a walk up to Elphinstone Tower, which was uh, sits just at the back of the gardens, followed up heading for Dunmore Village itself. And of course, this is a beautiful little village that was modelled on an English village. Uh, Seen one of them married uh, an English woman and uh, brought her up here and uh, she was homesick and so uh, one of the elders decided that they uh, would remodel the, the full village on an English style village and uh, very nice it is too and uh, I don't know whether it made her less homesick or not but it's very nice. Uh, 
But I was up at Elphinstone Tower, which is a large tower at the top of uh, this uh, hill. Uh, not there's many hills down that way, but uh, it's, it's a slight hill. Uh, and didn't realise it's at one point or other, it's all been some bad repair. And uh, there had been a, a big external door to it, and behind it lay a steel door, which it's all lying open now and whatnot, but it must have been the, f the family mo the mausoleum at one time because there's, cri there's stone crypts inside it for laying out. I didn't venture in. I don't think there's anything left or any bones or anything or whatnot, but uh, it was creepy to say the least, plus dangerous. Uh, so I didn't bother uh, going too far. I just so I had a look around and that, but it was really interesting. Uh, but I'm going to venture that way sometime later on because uh, of one or two things that I want to do. But there was a, there was a nice avenue of uh, sequoias, redwood, giant redwoods. Not so giant in this country, but uh, and but in the line, in the line of them, one of them has died off. Strange. Either side. There's maybe about a dozen or so, maybe more. Um, lovely trees, beautiful trees, but this one's particularly dead. Don't know what's happened to it, like, you know. But uh, anyway, that's where I've been for the past day or so, and. Uh, but uh, is of any interest? You never know, you never know. I'd, I'd do more talking and working now, but uh, I decided to make this little one anyway because uh, I've got to do, do well things that are in my mind because if I leave it too long, I forget about everything now. And, uh, but if you're ever out that way, you should pop in and have a look at uh, the, the garden and the pineapple. It's now, I think it's used as holiday accommodation. Uh, they've converted, National Trust have converted it into holiday lets, there's a lot of the type of thing now and whatnot. Uh, but uh, I didn't have that much time to go round it all, but at some time in the future we'll revisit. But this, yes, the next time you see it, I will have replaned this side and made up the dowels. And we'll do this. As I say, I'm not a matching pair. This, this bit here is somewhere along the line has got broken, but They've got a lovely raised knob, knobbly feel to them and uh, a bit clean off and sort of and we'll do that and shape off this hand in here and something we'll get there. But uh, as I say the disappointment in doing that bit of work, I'd like to tell you about it but oh dear dear. It's so embarrassing, we'll not do that. <laughs> anyway, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.